Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome to the 10 to 80% state of charge, charging speed and charging time test, where we put the manufacturer's claim charging speed to the test. But more importantly, we are measuring the time it takes to go from 10 to 80% and also the average speed you get from 10 to 80% state of charge. But if you're having kind of a deja vu feeling and thinking, hey, didn't you make this video just a few days ago in the Polestar 2 with the latest software update? You are completely right, but in that video, I connected this car to a 150 kilowatt charger. But according to Polestar, with the new software update, this car has a new peak speed of 155 kilowatts. So in today's video, we're going to Riga about an hour from here, and then we're connecting to an Ionity charger with a max speed of 350 kilowatts to see if we can get that peak speed of 155 kilowatts, but also to see if we can, you know, do the charging session even quicker with a higher average speed. And if you're new here and wondering why 10 to 80% state of charge, well, first off, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Please click that like button down below if you enjoy this type of content. And also, please consider subscribing to the channel. That really does help a lot. And also sound that notification bell if you subscribe to the channel. But back to my point. In my opinion, 10 to 80% state of charge is your real usage of the battery while taking an EV on a long trip. Because when you get to a charging point, you often come there with around 10% state of charge. You may have a little bit less or may have a little bit more, but you know, often around 10% state of charge. But then you don't want to go above 80% state of charge in most EVs because most EVs charge super slow above 80% state of charge. So that's why in my opinion, 10 to 80% state of charge is your real world usage. Before we connect to the charger, we have to try to generate as much heat in the battery as possible for us to be able to get as close to that maximum charging speed as possible because a warmer battery means faster charging and a colder battery means colder charging. And this is a charging test. So we're going to try to have to make the conditions as good as possible. So a disclaimer there, this may not represent the speed or the conditions you will get in the real world because today I'm going to do something called yo-yo driving. And yo-yo driving is basically doing acceleration run after acceleration run that is, you know, loads the battery and generates heat in the battery and warms the battery up from the inside. But another thing I'm also doing is that I'm going on a motorway at a higher speed, which will also load the battery. So that's, you know, maybe the more realistic part of this uh, test, but the yo-yo driving for a lot of people is very unrealistic. And I totally understand that because people aren't out there in the real world doing acceleration run after acceleration run but it is a technique you can use and I wouldn't recommend you doing it if you're going to exceed or supersede the speed limit or if you're in a place with a lot of traffic and it's dangerous. So don't do it if it's, it's, the conditions aren't there. But if you're on an empty motorway, you know, just breaking down to a lower speed and then, you know, hitting the throttle and then going up to the speed limit, doing that like five or six times, well, will actually generate heat in the battery. But again, only do it if it's, it is safe. Okay, guys, we're done with the actual charging session. The results are in, so we're gonna look at the data, we're gonna look at the numbers, and then we're gonna look at the actual charging session. And then I'm going to generate a charging curve so you get a proper visual of what the charging looks like in a Polestar 2. And this is also very useful, so if you have a Polestar 2, you can you know very easily visualize where you should stop charging if you want to be on your way as quickly as possible. We're gonna look at the time it took from 10 to 80% and also your average charging speed. And then we're gonna compare the results to the other day when we did this charging test with a 150 kilowatt charger and also the competitors. So we're gonna go through the results now. We're gonna go through the actual charging session. So I'm going to overlay the video here. So at 10% state of charge, we are at 144 kilowatts. And then the speed just keeps climbing steadily until we peak at 150 kilowatts at 20% state of charge. But then at 21% state of charge, we start to throttle. So we're down to 127 kilowatts. And then it steadily creeps up to 133 kilowatts all the way up to 30% state of charge. But again, at 30% state of charge, it throttles again. So we're down to 117 kilowatts. And then it creeps up slowly to 120 kilowatts at 36% state of charge. And then at 38% state of charge, we're down to 106 kilowatts. And then at 39% state of charge, we're down to 97 kilowatts. And then it climbs a bit up to 102 kilowatts at 42% state of charge. And then all the way up to 50% state of charge, it just fluctuates between 90 and 100 kilowatts, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then it steadily drops off, fluctuating a bit until 58% state of charge, we're down to 80 kilowatts. 
and then it throttles again down to 60 kilowatts at 58% state of charge, and then it steadily climbs up to 67 kilowatts at 70% state of charge. And then again, we're down to 55 kilowatts at 75% state of charge where it throttles again, and then it just drops off slowly till 80% state of charge where we're at 52 kilowatts. Okay guys, so the charging curve here in the Polestar 2 is so weird, unlike any other EV. And you can see at the charging curve where it you know, peaks, throttles, peaks, throttles, peaks, throttles, and just keeps you know fluctuating, especially between 40 and 50% stated charge. It's unlike any other EV out there. I don't know what, why it's like that, but that's just the way it is. Maybe that's their way to just try to get a, a flat as possible charging curve. I don't know, but okay, that's besides the point. So we're gonna look at the actual numbers here. So we were delivered 58.432 kilowatt hours between 10 and 80% stated charge. And the time it took was 38 minutes and 10 seconds. So we have to convert this to metrics. So that converts to 38.167 minutes or 0.636 hours. That's the time it took. So if we take our charging, uh, you know, the juice delivered, which was 58.432 kilowatt hours divided by the time, 0.636, we get an average speed of 91.9 kilowatts. So I have to correct myself, guys, because when I did this video a few days ago, and I haven't actually uploaded this video yet or actually rendered that video yet, so I haven't, you know, gone through the actual, actual hard data and looked at the charging curve, but I have my notes here on my notepad. But I remember me quoting a charging speed, uh, you know, average charging speed of 96 kilowatts. But I went back, did your calculations, and I'm actually incorrect. And hopefully I've corrected that in the previous video. But yeah, the average charging speed was 92.5 kilowatts instead of 96. So the average charging speed here of 91.9 is a bit slower. Not much slower, but a bit slower. So... That goes to show you that even how hard you yo-yo drive, the driving a car for many, many hours, connecting to a charger and then driving for many hours and then connecting to a charger will give you better temperature and better conditions for charging fast. Because if that was done with a 150 kilowatt charger and this was done with a 350 kilowatt charger and we got better speed in the other charger. So we got better average speed and also the time was a bit, it was about 20 seconds less. So there isn't much in it. There really isn't much in it, but us being connected to a 350 kilowatt charger today, I really was hoping and thought that we would get that, you know, uh, faster speed, you know, maybe just a minute or two, but yeah, it's, it's basically the same. I mean, 20 seconds apart, there isn't much of a difference and we were delivered a little bit more juice also. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe like, there's more loss in the charger, or I, I actually don't know. I actually don't know, but yeah. So it's pretty much the same time. So 37, point, uh, 37 minutes and 50 seconds versus 38 minutes and 10 seconds is, is no difference at all. But again, if we compare this to the Tesla Model 3 long range 2021 model, we're still at about the same time. I mean, we're at like 30 seconds to a minute longer to 10 to 80% state of charge, but our average charging speed is higher so that car charged at 86 kilowatts average charging speed we are here at 92 kilowatts so we still have a better speed so what will be interesting as i said in the previous video this car when it comes with the preheating so polestar or volvo are working on preheating based on the navigation just like you get in a uh, tesla so when that comes you don't have to yo-yo you don't have to you know consider or to be concerned about you know heating the battery manually so that will be very, very interesting to see. And also I just want to mention the peak speed today was 150 kilowatts, which was lower than the 155 quoted. But when I did the Norwegian high speed run the other day, I got a peak speed of 151. So still not there. We're still not there, but we are much, much closer than we have ever been before because previous, you know, peak speeds I've gotten in the Polestar 2 on two occasions and the XC90, which is basically the same car, same platform, same battery, same drivetrain was like 136 maybe. So us only being like five kilowatts from the peak speed. Yeah, I'm much more satisfied with that. So guys, 
The results aren't as good as I hoped they were going to be, but still it puts this car at an average charging speed at the second best of any EV I have tested, only second to my Audi e-tron. So that is still, still impressive. Faster charging than the Tesla Model 3 2021 model, though the time is, you know, about the same. So guys, let me know what you think of this charging session in the comment section down below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.